welcome to What's Up with Richard. Today, a road trip, heading to Laporte, Indiana's Municipal Airport to visit a B-17 Flying Fortress, a bomber that saw service during World War II. I'm here in Laporte, Indiana, and you're looking at the bomber Sentimental Journey. It was one of 13,000 B-17 bombers built by Boeing and other manufacturers between 1936 and the end of World War II in 1945. Its name, Flying Fortress, referred to the many machine guns placed on the plane to protect it from enemy fighters without the need for a fighter escort. These planes first saw major action with the U.S. Army's 8th Air Force, which began conducting bombing missions against Axis-controlled territories in Europe in August of 1942, 78 years ago this month. Now, despite its armament, the squadron's B-17 suffered terrible losses between 1942 and 1943, with only one-third of the crews surviving the 25 required missions. There were about 26,000 lives lost out of the 300,000 airmen stationed at the 8th Air Force. That's the highest rate of casualties of any combat service in World War II. More than Marines in Okinawa and Guam, and most happened in the first couple years. Now things got better with the introduction of the P-51 Mustang, a long-range fighter that could protect the bombers from enemy fighters. Now this aircraft did not see service in Europe. Sentimental Journey was built by Douglas Aircraft in 1944. She entered service with the Army Air Forces close to the end of 1945. After World War II, the plane was used for training, testing, and sea air rescue mission. It was also used to extinguish fires after being sold by the military. It was purchased by the CAF in 1978 and was finally restored and into flying condition by 1983. Since then, it's been flying across the country ever since, giving the public a chance to visit this great piece of American history.